بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين tonight as you all know is night number 16th of Ramadan the month of Ramadan more than half of it is gone we ask Allah Azza wa Jal to accept our prayers fasting the ibadat we have been engaged in throughout this month and we ask Allah Azza wa Jal to make it easier for us to fast and to pray and to make dua and to recite the Quran for what remains of Ramadan and also after Ramadan. Indeed, maintaining the good deeds after Ramadan ends is one of the signs of accepted Ramadan. Allah Azza wa Jal mentions in the Quran, in Surah Al-Kahf, we've been reciting Surah Al-Kahf, Surah Maryam, Surah Taha, and Surah Al-Anbiya. And these surahs contain many lessons. From the lessons these surahs contain is that Allah Azza wa Jalla relates to us the stories of the prophets who came before Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And as we all know, these stories are there for a reason. And Allah says, وَكُلَّنَّ نَقُصُّ عَلَيْكَ مِنْ أَنْبَاءِ الرُّسُلِ مَا نُثَبِّتُ بِهِ فُؤَادَكَ We relate to you, O Muhammad, the stories of the previous nations so that we may keep, keep you firm. We may keep you steadfast upon the right path. And that you may have the power and the energy to continue with your efforts in calling to Allah. So Allah Azza wa Jalla mentions in Surah Al-Kahf, an ayah we all need to reflect on about the story that has taken place and that had occurred between Musa and Khidr. And that story was when Prophet Musa alayhi salam went and looked for the most knowledgeable person in the world. And he came to Khidr. And then Khidr told him not to ask him anything until he explains to him later on. Few things, few incidents had occurred then. But then finally Khidr had taken the life of a youth, a young boy. Musa alayhi salam found that very strange and he said, how can you kill an innocent person? And then Allah Azza wa Jalla mentions the reason later on and the answer con uh, that's contained within this surah Allah Azza wa Jal tells us, وَأَمَّا الْغُلَامُ فَكَانَ أَبَوَاهُ مُؤْمِنَيْنَ As for the young boy that was killed, the, his parents were good people and they were righteous. And therefore we did not want that child to end up uh, becoming a disobedient child. So Allah Azza wa Jal tells us to make our children pious and cultivate them and nurture them upon the love of Allah and the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And this is a core principle that's mentioned in the Qur'an. Nurturing the children, cultivating them, making them love Allah, making them prioritize that which Allah loves and his messenger love over everything else is a very important matter. And all of the ayats that Allah Azza wa mentions in the Qur'an and the statements of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam concerning the cultivation and disciplining the children revolves around one thing, and that is Tawheed, to cultivate them upon the love of Allah, and to nurture them upon the love of the Prophet ﷺ, prioritizing Allah and his Prophet over everything else, and giving them that upbringing. So therefore, the Muslim should always ask Allah Azza wa Jal to make his children pious, to make her children pious. And this is why Ya'qub when he was on his deathbed, asked, his children, would they going to worship him after he passes away? And he was worried that they would turn to shirk. And they said, we're going to worship Allah. We're going to worship the, the Lord of all of the prophets. So therefore, the Muslim should always remember that. And then Allah Azza wa Jalla goes on to speak about the story of Ibrahim, and the story of Musa in Surah Maryam and Taha, and finally in Surah Al-Anbiya. So all of these surahs and statements and chapters of the Qur'an contain many, many important lessons that the Muslim has to comprehend and understand and try and grasp the main concepts that are mentioned in these surahs. We ask Allah Azza wa Jal to make our children pious and to make them those that love Allah and His Prophet and that worship Allah and single out Allah in His worship and those that are kept away and far removed from disobedience. And we ask Allah Azza wa Jal to make His parents that are righteous, that lead by example, and that cultivate their children and nurture them and discipline them upon the love of Allah Azza wa Jalla. 
هذا وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين